One does not simply walk into Mordor. The land of shadow. Tigers and bears. Lions? And tigers? And bears. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. 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 Welcome, everybody. Uh, I've been on a bit of a break for the last uh, month or so, but with the release of the new uh, teaser and trailer uh, for the upcoming series, as well as a selection of uh, leaked photos of the orcs that are gonna be featured in the series, I thought it was time for a new uh, Mordor video. Uh, in this shadow cast, um, I'll be focusing on some of the darker things we saw in the new trailer. Uh, and I want to share my thoughts on the orcs, uh, trolls, and wargs uh, that we have seen so far uh, in the trailer and the promotional material uh, for the uh, upcoming The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. So if you all want to join me in today's video, let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin with the photo releases of these orc images from the new TV series. I have to say the folks at Amazon and Weta Workshop have definitely gotten the orcs right so far. They appear to be actors in practical makeup, the way the orcs were created for the Lord of the Rings films. Rather than the CGI masks, applied on performance capture actors in post-production the way it was done in the Hobbit films. So, a big sigh of relief there. The designs coming out of Weta Workshop give the orcs of the Second Age a unique look, while at the same time paying homage to the orcs of the Third Age in the, from the Peter Jackson films. They are following in the footsteps of the Lord of the Rings orcs who were disfigured and at times terrifying. They look to be wearing bone, wood, animal hide, and bits of metal to form their clothing and armor. Now, let's take a look at the orc army attacking from the bridge. I'm not certain but it looks like this orc army is attacking the fortress, which was revealed recently. The design is reminiscent of elven architecture. Uh, we do see the elven character, Arondir, standing in this tower. And later we see him chained and fighting a warg. More on that later. It appears as if the orcs capture the fortress and then have a bit of orc fun with the prisoners. There is also an unknown character leading the army on the bridge. But more on that later. I guess I would have to say that overall I'm very happy with the way the orcs have been designed. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the trolls. In case you missed it, click on the link in the upper right to watch my dissection of the creature in the cave, the monster, as I called it. At the time, we did not know what it was. We have since learned it is, of course, a snow troll that is designed by John Howe. Here is a good high-res image of the snow troll, as well as a few other shots from the new trailer 
of the cave in the mountains where Galadriel and the other elves are exploring, and also a nice shot of the troll from behind. You can clearly see in this photo that it is a troll, this capture from the trailer. Um, as we learn more about this creature, this snow troll, we will, of course, be having uh, more uh, discussion about it, um, and uh, we'll probably, we will be definitely adding it to our uh, Dark Servants of Shadow um, at the Land of Shadow, at Mordor, the Land of Shadow. Now, on to the wars. So far, all that we have on the wards that are going to be seen in the new series um, is this blurry shot from the trailer. But it is clearly a warg. The good news is that the showrunners and the folks at Weta have taken the wargs from The Hobbit rather than the hyena-style wargs from The Lord of the Rings. Good choice, because those wargs which are were used in The Hobbit, uh, look more like wolves, which is more in line with what Tolkien described when describing the wargs. When we get more on these creatures, we will of course post it here in the Land of Shadow. Now, uh, sort of to wrap up here, I, I did want to point out a few final things that I saw in this video that relate to the uh, darker side of Tolkien's world. One is the dark character leading the orc army in battle. You can see him at the front of the line of orcs crossing the bridge. I don't believe he is an orc, but perhaps a man fallen under the spell of Sauron who leads them with uh, the use of dark sorcery. Unless Amazon has completely refigured the Tolkien timeline, it is unlikely that he would be a black Numenorian. They would have appeared pretty much after the fall of Numenor. And I don't think he is, of course, one of the kings of men corrupted by the rings of power, though it is possible I'm going to discuss that more in a new video where I'm going to kind of focus on this character if we find out more and that we find out he is a prominent character. Until then, we'll just have to wait and see. I did want to point him out, though, because he looks like a wonderful dark servant of shadow. Finally, um, I can't imagine there's anyone as excited as I am to see the interior of Moria. Um, you know... In the Lord of the Rings, uh, we only saw Moria in its decrepit, fallen state uh, after the coming of Durin's Bane, the Balrog. Um, I have been waiting for this in this uh, show to see what it looks like. And the couple of images that we saw in the trailer uh, look very striking. Uh, it really has the grandeur that you would expect to find in khazad Anyway, I can't wait to see more, and I'm sure you guys are as excited about that as I am. I'd like to hear anything you hear your thoughts on that in the uh, comments. Uh, also, if you have any <clears throat> knowledge about this <clears throat> dark character that is leading the orcs, uh, post comments in the uh, you know in the comment section below and let me know what you what you think. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about the uh, new creatures we have seen, uh, the new Servants of Shadow we have seen for the upcoming series, The Rings of Power. Um, my next uh, Shadow cast should be coming soon, but until then, I hope to see you on the road between the Dark Tower of Mordor and the fires of Mount Doom.